everyone. This is Brad at Board Game Geek. I'm here with uh, Ted Osbach at the Bezier Games booth, and we're talking about your one night uh, ultimate apps, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> not just not just Werewolf, but also Vampire, and yeah. uh, looks like Alien as well. Yeah. So um, we've actually developed. We kind of did this stealth stealth mode. Um, we didn't really make a big deal about it, but it's actually really, really cool for a lot of uh, different reasons. Is we now have an app that is the the One Night app is now available on PCs, Macs, and as a web app. Uh, if you go to OneNightWerewolf.com, it'll actually you can run it directly from the web on any device. So, well, anything that has a web browser. If you do, you know, something like a Newton, that's probably not going to work. But uh, everything else, it'll run exactly the same look and feel, the same options that you have um, in the regular app. And you know you just you'll be able to go ahead and select your different characters, and different games that you have. There's options when you play. Works exactly the same. Hard to hear in here because it's super loud. But you can you know plug this in. We're actually going to use this tonight at the One Night World Championship. We're going to use the the Mac and hook that up with an HDMI cable to a big screen so everybody can see the stuff that's going on and watch the countdown timer and all that sort of thing. So that works right now for uh, Ultimate Werewolf, One Night Ultimate Werewolf, Daybreak, and Vampire. And in the future, of course, it'll work for uh, Alien as well. That's really cool. Um, and you also mentioned that uh, we might be seeing some changes to the app with Alien? Yeah, so let me uh, actually give you a look at that real quick here. So the app for Alien is in development right now. Okay. So it is in uh, beta format. So um, this is showing uh, some of the new characters that are in here. One of the cool things about this, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to stop this. There we go. Uh, is that, uh, of course, you can combine this with the other One Night games. That was a big question. People were like, oh, Alien, that sounds like you might not be able to because it's a little out of the normal vampires, werewolves sort of thing. And uh, you know, one of the design decisions for the game early on was it has to be compatible. It has to work with everything else. And so you can play it by itself. It's a great standalone. But you can also combine it with the other games. Um, for the app, which of course you can all see all the different things there. We'll just turn that off. We just have the alien stuff in place. Um, you can see we've got some aliens selected. Um, you can have uh, other characters selected as always. But what's really unique about this is that every time you play, you're going to have a different experience. And what I mean by that, I'm going to turn uh, these guys back on here and put on my villagers um, to make this work a little bit better. Because again, beta. Um, hit play here. Um, and you can just barely hear that probably. Aliens, uh, yeah. wake up and look around but for other happens. aliens. Show your alien card to the other aliens. Now, the aliens do that this time. Now, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to say play Everyone, again. And watch Close happens. your eyes. Aliens, wake up and look around for other aliens. All aliens together may view a card from player one, player two, or player three. So, the thing is, the aliens, they're going to wake up and see each other every night, but they're going to do something different. They're going to take a different action every single game. And uh, what we've done is, in order for the app to be able to basically talk to the players, we're giving them little, uh, number tokens. So each player has a number. They're assigned a number between one and however many players there are. The app automatically knows how many players there are. We actually built that in the last version, even though we didn't need to. And uh, when, uh, when you see there when it says play six, that means there's six cards actually in the game, or three players at this point. So it's going to pick numbers between you know one and, and three at that point. Okay. Uh, it's always going to go because you have three extra cards in the center. But it knows that, and so it knows that you can pick uh, you know player six for something, or you can tell player five to do a specific activity about you know any number lower than his. Right. All sorts of things like that. So uh, we've added this this whole neat um, this kind of set of variability to each game without really increasing the complexity at all uh, because all the rules are right there in the app. It's your your eyes are closed, you listen, you wake up, you're like, oh, the app's telling me to do this this time. That's that's super cool. Uh, one of the other things that we're going to do, um, and this I don't have this working right now, but a few of the roles, like this oracle here, will actually interact with the app at nighttime. So the oracle role will tell the oracle to wake up, and then the app will ask the oracle a question. And the oracle will answer by tapping an answer somewhere on the screen. Then the app will respond. So a great example of this, one that we, people have a lot of fun with, with, is Oracle, would you like to join the alien team? And the oracle can say yes or no. You know, if it says no, the app will go, good choice, they're scary, whatever. If it says yes, normally the app will say, oh, great, now the oracle is now an alien team. If you have the oracle card, you're an alien on the alien team, you win with them, etc. But sometimes, 
the app will go, oh, I don't think so. No, nope. you're still an Oracle. And just so everyone knows, the Oracle wanted to be on the Alien team. Um, so a lot of fun stuff we can do with that because we're using, you know, not even super advanced technology, but just we're just kind of taking advantage of the different roles that are selected, the number of players that are there and the different roles and really super fun and amazingly integrated uh, as opposed to just the typical narration, like do this, do this, do this. So it makes, it, it really just enhances the game tremendously. And all the roles are gonna be like this. They're gonna have some sort of variability or interactivity. Uh, we've been calling them dynamic roles because while there's certain parameters they have to operate in, they can be anywhere within there. And you know, there's an almost infinite number of ways that they're gonna, they're gonna happen. So every game's gonna be totally different. That sounds really awesome, and it's great that it's on you know even more platforms, so yes. everyone has really easy access. Yeah. yeah, and it's always as always phones, tablets, Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, web. I think we're missing anything. I guess PlayStation, Xbox, but yeah, you know, I don't, know, like that, I don't know how relevant that would be necessarily. <laughs> um, you know, we're we're looking to see if we can get this on Apple TV at least, so people can do it on their big screens. But we'll see if that pans out. Well, awesome! It sounds really cool, and we're looking forward to Aliens. It sounds like it's really going to mix things up. So. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks.